Hello and welcome to Meals with Maria. Today I have, I can't believe it's Dollar Tree. I got inspired. I love my cooking magazines and I grabbed this little puppy right here and I thought, you know what? This is all very good, fine and dandy, delicious stuff, but it's kind of expensive. I'm like, to buy all the stuff and then I make it. Can like the regular person do this? Can a person with maybe only perhaps just a Dollar Tree make this food? And so I will tell you that I went through the entire magazine and I redid every single recipe in Dollar Tree terms. And so I figured let's share some delicious, I can't believe that I made this at the Dollar Tree gourmet food from the Delish magazine. So come check it out. For this first recipe, I am going to make best ever gazpacho because I figured we can use canned tomatoes instead of fresh and pretty much everything you can get at the Dollar Tree except for cucumbers. So we're going to make it work. The recipe calls for a fresh red bell pepper, but I'm going to use canned. And then instead of two pounds of fresh tomatoes, I'm going to use two cans of diced tomatoes. And they actually happen to have organic today, which was actually a really good deal. In the recipe, you're looking for sherry or red wine vinegar, but I had apple cider vinegar. I figured that would work. Some olive oil, fresh garlic, salt and pepper, and some fresh basil, which we're going to use dried. In the bowl of a food processor, blender, or in my case, I'm using a Nutribullet, combine your drained red peppers and your two cans of diced tomatoes. Add about a teaspoon of your chopped garlic and two tablespoons of vinegar. Obviously, if you have any of these ingredients on hand, you do not need to get them at the Dollar Tree. Alternatively, you could also use garlic powder instead of minced garlic. And then to that, you wanna add in a third a cup of your extra virgin olive oil blend a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're just going to blend this up until smooth. Taste your gazpacho and season it with more salt, pepper, or vinegar if needed, and then you want to cover it and refrigerate it until it's chilled. And I served mine with a little drizzle of that oil blend, some basil flakes and croutons. And it was absolutely fabulous. You would never know that this was a Dollar Tree gazpacho and it's so good this time of year. This was a no cook meal, an absolute summer favorite and relatively healthy. This just goes to show you that Dollar Tree can absolutely be gourmet. And don't forget, if you have any of these items already in your pantry or in your fridge, go ahead and make this recipe anyway. This is an amazing pantry meal that you can use your leftover croutons with, or you can make croutons if you have leftover bread. Do not hesitate to swap things in or out to make a delicious meal for yourself. This next meal was inspired by these garlicky, garlicky shrimp stuffed zucchini. Now, obviously we don't have zucchini, so I'm gonna use spaghetti as my main component. Going through the ingredients on this recipe, we have our extra virgin olive oil blend, salt and pepper, fresh thyme leaves they did not have, so I went with Italian seasoning. Instead of butter, we're gonna use the oil. Then we have about a half a pound of cooked shrimp instead of our three quarters of a pound of large shrimp, but that'll do. You don't need as much as they say always all the time. Plus we're gonna fill in by having lots of pasta. Then we've got diced tomatoes instead of fresh tomatoes and minced garlic instead of fresh cloves of garlic. Again, you can use garlic powder and Parmesan cheese. And we're actually gonna omit a few ingredients such as milk, lemon, and mozzarella because we're gonna make it more of a scampi style. Now I did actually buy some mozzarella and I thought I was gonna use some lemon for a little bit, but I kind of changed things up. So we're actually going to make some rolls with some cheese and do that separate. So start off with our pasta. You just want to defrost those shrimp. So I've put them in a bowl with cold water and we are gonna pull the tails off of those once they're defrosted. So with that mozzarella, I did want to make like a cheesy garlic bread. So I bought these little croissants or crescent rolls from Dollar Tree and I had kept them in my fridge. That's a key element to buying Dollar Tree bread is that if you keep it in the fridge, it will not go bad, I swear. I mean, I've never had it go bad. It'll last forever. To make your garlic bread topping, just add like a teaspoon of that fresh garlic or garlic powder if you have it and another half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a sprinkle of salt, and about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese to two or three tablespoons of your oil mixture. And you just wanna mix all of that together. 
and either drizzle it or paint it right onto your rolls. Now I did decide to move the rolls into like a cake pan so that I could get better, better coverage with the mozzarella because I really wanted them to be like cheesy and stick together. They didn't fit perfectly in the cake pan. I kind of thought it would be like this pretty flower looking thing and it really just didn't come out like that. But that's okay because cheesy rolls are good no matter what way you have them. It just might not have looked so perfectly gourmet as I had hoped. You wanna cook these at about 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. To make the pasta, I'm adding a half a tablespoon of my oil to a pan over medium low heat and then the equivalent of about four minced cloves of garlic and we're just going to cook that up until fragrant a minute or so. On the other burner that you can't see, I am boiling my water and I'm going to cook my pasta according to package instructions. Once your garlic is fragrant, you just want to add in a teaspoon or so of onion powder. While I was still using the inspiration from the garlicky shrimp stuffed zucchini recipe, I did go online and find a different recipe from Tasty that was similar and included ingredients that I still had from Dollar Tree, but was uh, slightly different. So that's why I'm using that, garlic, that onion powder there that I didn't mention earlier. Then you want to add your can of diced tomatoes, mix everything together well. Add one teaspoon of oregano, that wasn't mentioned earlier either, I apologize. One half a teaspoon of salt and one half a teaspoon of sugar. Stir and bring the sauce to a simmer and simmer for five to 10 minutes until thickened. And here you can see my mozzarella cheesy garlic bread. This turned out phenomenal. It was so delicious and such a great side to a garlicky pasta like this. I did want to mention that all the ingredients that I'm using today are Dollar Tree ingredients, but many of them are pantry staples and hopefully things that you have at home already so you don't necessarily have to purchase them just for this recipe. Once your sauce is thickened, add your shrimp with the tails removed and make sure to drain out your pasta, but leave a little bit of that pasta water in the bottom there. That will help to bind your pasta together with the sauce. I added a few shakes of Parmesan cheese, and here you can see our gourmet restaurant quality shrimp, garlicky shrimp pasta with our diced tomatoes. This was absolutely fantastic. Everybody in my family absolutely loved it, and it really did feel like a restaurant gourmet meal made from the Dollar Tree. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to seeing more Dollar Tree meals from this Delish magazine. I have so many more options and things to make for you, and I'm so excited about this series idea. Ben is patiently waiting for his delicious meal. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps you to see my videos. I'm making three budget meals a week these days, so you don't want to miss out, and you also don't want to miss out on this series as I make more amazing Dollar Tree gourmet dinners. If you want to see more Dollar Tree meals, go ahead and click on the video at the end of this one and you will see more Dollar Tree meals made by yours truly. Yeah, yeah.